So me and Brooke first met when we were set up by Grant and Amanda. Amanda was my best friend and Grant was his best friend all through childhood. And so they'd always talked about setting us up, but it just was never the right time or there was someone else in the picture. You know, two, three months later, I ended up calling her and asking her out on a date, but it took me a while. <laughs> and it was just perfect. One of the things that I love about him is just the way that he loves people so well, and he's just deeply compassionate and cares for people. It's such a reflection of the way that the Lord loves people, and I love to see that in him, and I feel like it's just a tangible reminder and picture of how God loves people. I think Brooke is unique in the fact that she's always wanted to be someone's wife. You know, it's just so overwhelming at times that you can't help but like, okay, yeah, I love this girl. And like, I don't have a choice but to love this girl because of who she is and because of how God created her to be. Like, she does a really good job of allowing me to lead, letting me be the man in the relationship and respects me in ways that I never thought I'd deserve. Babe, it's our wedding day. I can't believe it is here and I can't wait to walk down the aisle to you today and promise forever to you. God has been so good and faithful, but I will save that for your real letter at the marker in the gray journal included inside. Enjoy your gifts, and I'll see you soon for the last time with your fiance. I had written in a journal a month after we started dating about how I knew I was going to marry Matt, and I was scared to write it down because I didn't want to put it in words and then it not happen, but I knew he was the one from very early on. How do you know when you know? That's that's the ultimate question. And I just remember in my truck, I think I was listening to K-Love, and I just remember having this thought, maybe it was from God, maybe it was just me in my head, but I was like, man, unless I actually give this thing a true shot and like put my all into it, it's never gonna work out. And I asked myself, does Brooke deserve to be pursued, whether it works out or not? And I was like, well, yes. Then why aren't you doing it? And so from that moment on, I remember, okay, I'm, I'm gonna actually pursue Brooke. I'm, I wanna see if this is actually gonna work out and it changed everything. I mean, and then soon after that, I was like, oh yeah, that's when I first told her I loved her. Like I was ready to drop down on a knee. I just had to go get a ring. You know how proud I am of you. <laughs> and you look beautiful. Thank you. You're beautiful. <laughs> and I love you. I love you too. You're gonna be the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. Stop. Not offensive. <laughs> the most beautiful Thank that you. I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I'm shaking. My hands are wet. Really right <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. Yeah, it's so good. I love it so much. Are you good? Yeah, it's it's re it's real good? now. Yeah, yeah you, it's gonna happen. It's, it's happening. Yeah. We were here. You did it. Like we're here, and we made it. And everyone who loves you is here. And just take a minute and look at all of these people. It's amazing. Like just drink it in for a second. I am just so honored to be here with both of these people because of how much I think of them both as friends and as a brother and sister in Christ. Brooke, my wife, you have blessed her so much just over the last year of getting to know you. Winstead family, I just want to tell you, your daughter is so godly and full of grace and discernment. She's so life-giving and fun. Uh, and, uh, and just, the, I think the best compliment I could give a family is that you just raised a very godly daughter. Matt is one of the most loyal, compassionate, conviction-oriented men I've ever met. And if you ask me, Blake, just uh, describe Matt in a word, I would say he's a good friend. And what I mean is he's a Romans 12 
friend, that he is someone who clings to good. He is uh, quick to honor people, that he uh, weeps with those who weep, and he rejoices with those who rejoice, and he is strong in righteousness. And so I love your son, and I know you are so very, very proud of him. I love both of them separately, but I know that the kingdom of God will be better when they're together. I, Matthew, take you, Brooke. I, Matthew, take you, Brooke. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. To you I pledge my faithfulness. To you I pledge my faithfulness. I, Brooke, take you, Matthew. I, Brooke, take you, Matthew. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. Better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. To you I pledge my faithfulness. To you I pledge my faithfulness. Matt and Brooke, as you now walk through this journey as husband and wife. May the Lord be near. May he be near in your home, your words, your laughter, and your tears. May you be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the height and breadth and length and depth of God's love for you, being rooted and grounded in love. May your marriage overflow with the life that is already yours in Christ. May your home be filled with children who grow to walk closely with their God, closely with their family, their church, and their neighbor. Every path the Lord has for you is filled with steadfast love and faithfulness. So go out in joy and be led forth in peace in Christ. Amen. So in that spirit, and by the power invested in me by the state of Arkansas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss your bride. Worthy, worthy, worthy Lord. It is my joy to glory. introduce you we for the first time as husband and wife, Matthew and worthy, Brooke Strickland. Worthy, worthy Lord, forever, forever. the thing that's been so cool is to look back on just the faithfulness of God in our relationship and that's just been such a marker over and over of how faithful he's been in both of our lives and then bringing us together and it's just so cool to see it unfold in this day.